Okay, this is the Patriot Trading News Hour. I am your guest host, uh, Jason, and uh, Joe is on vacation, needs a few days off. Uh, we all can use a few days off. I know a lot of guys out there, a lot of our customers, they uh, they don't take vacations, and uh, uh, sometimes it's not about how hard you work. Sometimes it's about how smart you work. I think working hard and working smarter something you need to do hand in hand because you can work smart, but you're not going to make a lot of uh, money in this world because you don't work hard. And you can work hard your whole life, but if there's no intelligence into what you're doing, it's going to be hard to make a lot of money. So Patriot Trading Group, uh, kind of the same thing. Uh, we're here to uh, sell gold and silver to you, uh, give you financial information to help you make uh, smart decisions with your hard earned money and uh, work hard and work smart and uh, make sense of the uh, the world around us, which uh, every day seems to get uh, wackier and wackier. Day after day, month after month, year after year, um, 1360 KHNC, you can, you can catch this radio station, 1360 KHNC.com by streaming to there and uh, listening to any of the shows here. Love being on uh, 1010 uh, over there in Arizona. Uh, once in a while, myself and my partner Brian, we get to get to do the uh, Joe's morning show when he's uh, off for a day or takes a vacation, gets sick or whatnot. And uh, we joined uh, this company three and a half years ago. Um, I think everyone's pretty uh, knows who I am and knows who Brian is. But uh, Joe, Joe's he's like me. He does he likes to make sure that he gets that show in, does as many times as he can, but. Uh, Hopefully, Joe's going to enjoy a, f a few uh, uh, well-earned days off uh, uh, through the rest of this week. He'll be back on Monday. Uh, myself, Jason, like I said, I've been here three and a half years. Brian, I think, is going to be joining me on the second segment. Uh, this is the Patriot Trading Group. I've uh, been selling gold and silver for well over two decades. been doing it uh, as a small business, a family-owned business, and I've uh, been doing it well. Um, the phone number you call to buy gold and silver from this company is 800-951-0592. That number, and that is a, uh, you know, put this number in your phone. Put it, you know, put it, write it down, you know, wherever that place is where you need to get to important phone numbers. This is this should be one of your important phone numbers because questions, comments, concerns about gold and silver, wanting to order it. Uh, we say this number uh, millions of times on the air throughout the years, but uh, this is where this this is what we do. We have these radio shows. You listen to the the news that Joe gives you for years, Eric before him. Uh, now it's Brian and myself in the afternoon show here in Colorado, and sometimes right here on Arizona and Colorado in the morning. It's eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. We're looking for a special. Don't know if we'll have a special or not today. We're we're looking. Uh, but uh, other than that, I, I've got some good uh, material to cover. Uh, Joe talks about the numbers much more in depth than I ever do. But I've got well, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about the uh, the everything bubble that seems to be brewing. Um, I'll I'll come into the next segment. I got this guy that I listen to. I just I like the guy's voice. We we uh, one of the reasons you listen to uh, Patriot Trading Group is. Uh, there's a there's a lot of people with a lot of ideas what's going on in the world you know and, and especially when it comes to finance and what do you do with that with your money and one of the reasons you listen to this show is because uh, Joe and myself and, and Brian we we kind of funnel through the the nonsense some guys got some pretty smart things to say other guys seem like they've lost their heads uh, and what our customers do is they trust that we if if it ain't uh, conclusions we made from ourselves and our own observations, it's uh, guys that we listen to. I mean, you, you, nobody does it all by themselves in the world. There's you know you're you're a part of a community, and so there are, you know there's guys like Peter Schiff out there, and a lot of other guys out there that uh, I, I do. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki. There's just, there's these really smart guys out there, and then if you've been on the internet for any length of time, you, you you run into some of these guys. So we'll bring some of that material here. I got this guy Michael invests and tries to make money. He's out of Australia. I'm going to play a, uh, some of a clip on the next segment uh, of his observations, which I agree with a lot. And I'm going to have my own commentary about what I'm hearing. And uh, it's 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 very scary what's getting ready to happen because you hear the term Great Reset. Uh, the Great Reset. Uh, what does that mean? It sounds it sounds really scary. It, 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 you know, World War II was a Great Reset. You know, it was an economic reset of the entire world's finances, uh, the money system. The pound sterling was the world reserve currency. And then we had this thing called World War II. And every industrialized nation on earth was destroyed except for America and, uh, and, and a portion of Russia. 
and uh, there was a great reset. You had, you had the, uh, you know, you, you you had those famous meetings after World War II, how they were going to decide that, that uh, you know, America was going to be the world reserve currency. They were going to have it backed by gold. Everybody uh, loved America, the heroes of the war. They, everyone trusted us. Hey, if it wasn't for America, there'd be a bunch of uh, Nazis running around our countries uh, and, uh, fortified behind their walls. And, and so they, they sent their gold to us and, and, they, and they started spending dollars and, and knew that they felt confident that, hey, these, these, these people that, that uh, came across the ocean and, and, and bailed our butts out, uh, that, you know, they're, if they wouldn't do that and then and steal from us. And uh, that's kind of exactly what happened. Now, it wasn't the American citizens that stole from them. It was the Federal Reserve Central Bank, the same central bank that con concocted these wars that should not have happened. And so uh, we're going to talk about a possible great, great Reset coming. And how would you do a Great Reset? We've, we've had all these uh, boom and bust cycles here in, in, in the past of our, our history. Uh, but it seems like it doesn't seem like it's going to be as bad as what may be coming. And, and we're going to talk about this. I'm going to have uh, Michael uh, speak a few words on what he's observing. Uh, you know, Michael Burry. Have you ever heard the name Michael Burry? He's the guy that was in that movie, The, the, the Big Short. You know, he's, a, he's an investor that saw the big crash of the housing market before uh, a lot of other people didn't. Uh, and and uh, he's, he's going off some, some information that he uh, saw from Michael Burry, uh, some tweets. It's, uh, it's going to be a good show, and I'll uh, have Brian joining with me to, to listen in. Uh, once again, gold and silver, the number is 800-951-0592. I'll be right back. Welcome back. This is the Patriot Trading News Hour, the phone, phone number to call to buy gold and silver, 800-951-0592. All right, as I tease on the last segment, uh, Michael invests and tries to make money. Uh, this is one of the one of the places I go to. Uh, I love this guy's voice. He's Australian. Uh, the lockdowns and the freedoms they've lost in Australia far more severe uh, in, in, the, in the years of COVID than we have in America. And, uh, and this guy's got a very uh, similar and strong understanding of the markets and, and, and what's going on. So let's he has an observation. He uh, he saw Michael Burry, you know, the famous guy, one of, one of the famous group uh, of individuals uh, that saw that the the housing market <clears throat> there was a flaw in mortgages. You know, mortgages the safest thing that you could ever invest in is mortgages. You know, you had these cities and and uh, businesses across the uh, across the country that were saying, you know, that they, you know you have income and you have investments. You try to grow your business, and some some of these municipalities, you know, they. <clears throat> Excuse me. They uh, they uh, they have to figure out where to put this money to to grow it, you know, so that you have more money. And you know, hey, you, that's how it works. You know, you, you every every family and every uh, municipality, every business, they all have to have ways to to make things work. And and so they they would invest in these these mortgages, these mortgage backed securities, and uh, and and there was fraudulent, phony things going on, and they were. They were putting really bad mortgages in with with triple a top graded mortgages and the whole thing collapsed and it collapsed in such a huge way that uh, people thought the end of the financial world uh, uh was coming and, and then quantitative easing and all these uh, reindeer games that the, that the uh, central banks do they they come in and act like they're these big heroes saving everything with the mess that they created so michael burry was one of these guys that he went into these these big groups of uh uh, mortgage-backed securities they have like hundreds of thousands of mortgages in there you know tens of thousands you know i you know and they, they group them together and then the, and then the, uh, uh, a regulatory agency gives it a grade hey, is it triple a is it double a is it a is it triple b you know, they they gave grades to these these packages of mortgages with thousands of mortgages in there and, and michael burry you know, kind of a quirky guy with the glass eye. You know, if you ever watch the movie, it's 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 you know, it's an interesting character. He's a real man. This is a real guy. He went in and looked at them all. How do you catch? How do you catch the criminal when he's doing the crime? Well, the, the criminal is going to do all of these things to hide the crime. Well, he went in there and, and and looked at all the evidence. He actually looked at tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of mortgages and found there was a whole bunch of really bad mortgages that should have been rated, uh, rated C or double B or something really low and should not have been grouped in with triple A. And you have people's pensions and, 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 and their retirement money and everything that, that are grouped into this through their, their companies. And uh, it, was, it's, it, it was a fraudulent 
purposeful, corrupt act, and, and look at how badly things went. Well, now Michael is going to play this video. Brian's coming on, but I'm going to wait till I'm going to have Brian listen to the video, <clears throat> and we'll come on after it. But let's listen to Michael talk about um, – Michael Invest talk about uh, Mr. Burry's tweets about uh, – when pigs can fly, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's got, uh, that's the hashtag. And I'm gonna, we're going to come back and talk about how treacherous this next possible crash can be. So, uh, Jack, go ahead and play that to start. Looky here, everyone. Big short investor Michael Burry is back on Twitter and is warning of the biggest bubble in history. The one bubble to rule them all. So listen to this, everyone. Michael Burry on Tuesday warned of the biggest market bubble in history, suggesting that his concerns about rampant speculation only grew during his 10-week hiatus from Twitter. And of course, what have we seen? We've seen the crazy pump and dumps in crypto. We've seen the crazy pumps in GameStop, AMC, with the latest short squeeze stock. They're going crazy now. I love that, you know, the retail investors are trying to stick it to the hedge fund. That all That's awesome. But you have to agree, a lot of it of is people just trying to bet, you know, their thousand dollars to try to turn it into ten thousand, a hundred thousand dollars. They're not really in it to send a message. They're in it for the money indicator or key warning during the Great Depression that all the stock market traders got. Well, when the shoeshine boys started talking about stocks, that's when the stockbrokers are like, okay, we're getting very close to the peak, it's time to get out. And what I'm seeing is a lot of people that normally would never invest in the stock market, that would normally never talk about investing at all, they're all talking about the next latest or greatest stock. But they have no idea what they're investing in. They have no idea of the fundamentals of a company. All they hear is their friends making money, so they want to make easy money too. But a lot of these new investors, as soon as we get a big decline, they're going to sell straight away and make the decline even faster and even steeper. So this is his latest warning and latest prediction, everyone. So listen up. People always ask me, what is going on in the markets? It's simple. This is the greatest speculative bubble of all time in all things by two orders of magnitude. Hashtag flying pigs 360. That's Michael Burry whoa, saying whoa, that. Whoa, 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 No, that, that's, keep on going. Oh, that, that's Michael Burry that's saying that. That's a big that. statement, everyone. Not only we're in a bubble, but we're in the biggest bubble of all things, the everything bubble, the bubble of all time, the one bubble to rule the bubbles. Now, I know you may be thinking, oh, I've heard it for the past 12 years, you know, when a bubble a crash is going to come, this is just another perma bear, you don't make money, you know, trying to time the market, you make money in the market. And that may be true, but we've been in something that is very, very unusual, a 12-year bull run. Since 2009, we've just pretty much been in a straight bull run. Yeah, we've had some dips along the way, but they were very short and temporary dips. And then, you know, the Fed comes in, <laughs> They do the money printing and then it shoots the stocks back up. But this is very unusual. This isn't normal to have a 12-year bull run. Normally, you know, the market does a seven-year bull run and then a two to three-year uh, bear market. But we haven't had a bear market in 12 years, which is very unusual. And this is why I'm sending all these warnings. If we had, you know, gradual growth of 7 to 10% per year and, you know, we've had a bear market over the past 12 years, then I'll say, okay, maybe this isn't a bubble. But we haven't had that. We've had crazy, crazy growth. And the bigger the bubble, the bigger the damage is done when the bubble bursts. Now it says here, the hashtag flying pigs 360 was likely a reference to the famous saying in investing, listen up everyone, bulls make money, bears make money, but the pigs get slaughtered. Right, Barry pause, pause it there, Jack. So, so and we're going to play a little more to this, but uh, think about it. You know, and I think he says maybe a little later in the video, I, I didn't catch it, but, uh, you know, when, uh, during the, uh, the the Great Depression, he'll, he'll cover this here in a minute, but uh, when, when, the, when the kids that are shining your shoes are talking about buying stock, that was about the time that the thing went down. Um, what he's describing here, and I'll bring Brian in here in just a second, what he's describing is, is uh, in, in previous uh, crashes of the markets, there, there's different asset classes that maybe you could just... Uh, you're kind of like climbing a ladder. You're climbing a ladder. There's three. Let's just say there's three ladders. One's mortgages, and one's uh, stocks, and the other one's bonds. Right? And you're climbing the ladder, 
you know, and and then uh, and then suddenly the ladder you're yet you're climbing up is going to collapse on you, uh, and, and and that's going to be a crash in the market. But some you know the guys that are in the know they they know they can they can shift over to another ladder that's not collapsing. So you got you got a market crash and and, and, and you know the, the value of the market's going down as a whole. But there's there's always a place to shift and move to. What what Michael is, is talking about and what Joe has been talking about uh, and anybody that's watching this is. All the ladders are getting ready to collapse all at once. And when you use the term great reset, that, that's just kind of washing the pond clean. You're just, you know, there's, you know, all the fish in there are, are, are they're going to get, not just, you're not fishing a couple of fish out to eat. You're, you're, you're cleaning the whole pond out. And uh, that's, that's quite frankly where, where it's headed. And this is why gold and silver, I, I could see gold and silver kind of flounder about and stay kind of low during certain parts of this process. But when, when, when this thing goes, they, everyone's going to go to where it's safe. And when they're going to come run into gold and silver for safety, and they are going to come run into gold and silver for safety, the end of this decade, we, we'll see 20,000 gold. I, I'm, I'm convinced of it. When they run to physical gold for safety, because paper gold will have no, no, you know, very little value co in comparison, there's not going to be a lot of physical gold and silver here. I look at certain sites that, that compare the prices of some of the biggest sellers of silver and gold in the country. And, uh, there's, there's X's all over their boards. I mean, when I, I've been doing this for years, and, and, and they always have a price on the product. They can get it for you. Well, there's X's all over the boards, meaning there's silver products and some gold products that these big, huge retailers, they can't. They don't even have any, any – they don't have any inventory. They have no access to it. And we haven't even crashed yet. What's going to happen when, when, uh, when the, the great reset type of crash happens? All these assets are crashing and burning. And everyone wants to throw all their money into gold and silver, and physically, it's just not going to be there. What do you think the price is going to be? Because there's going to be gold and silver out there, but they ain't going to sell it to, uh, an ounce of gold to you for two thousand dollars, Brian. What, what do you say about this? Eighty bar the doors. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's the whole idea. Get get, get on it before that happens. I, I just happened to see an article: wall of dust blanketing Phoenix amid mega drought conditions. So, you know, stay ahead of that blanket of dust. When it comes to your financial future and uh, at least the insurance that you have to try to mitigate uh, all these forces surrounding you, that uh, you know, can't, I, I don't consider myself able, uh, with the ability to completely isolate from these things, but uh, prepare as best you can to weather the storm, right? Right. And Michael Burry, the guy that I physically read all of the mortgages that were in those fraudulent uh, mortgage security, mortgage backed securities, the guy that actually does the work to read. You know, warrant the war and piece of mortgage-backed securities bundle together, kind of a kind of a guy that you might want to perk your ears up and listen to, Brian. That when he says that there's an everything bubble that's going to be two to four times worse than any any market crash we've seen, it's kind of a guy you may want to 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 to, to give a little respect to, right? Well, and it's amazing how the the, the central banks keep coming up with all these uh, uh, twenty-five dollar terms. For, for various things, just to just to add just enough distraction, keep keep the keep the public eye off of off of what the real problem is, as uh, you know, as has been said, you know, let's say as, as high as our national debt, <laughs> trillions of times it's been spoken of kicking the can down the road, and at some point you're going to either run out of runway, or uh, or, or or you're going to reach an intersection and there's going to be cross traffic that uh, that can won't be won't be kicked any farther. And, and for some of my average Americans, Brian, uh, they've been through this before, the, uh, these these ups and downs. And, and, and as uh, Michael Invest was talking, he said, look, it's been 12 years since we've had a really downturn in the market. So a lot of people haven't really been through this. You know, let's just say you started your work life in 2010 uh, and you started putting money in your 401k and, and, and all this other stuff. Uh, you really haven't seen a big downturn that sustained itself. We could quite frankly be looking at a downturn that if things go really the wrong way for the dollar, it gets detached as the world reserve currency. We end up like Japan for decades stuck in a, in a, in a bad spot. And you better believe gold and silver is, is where a lot of people are. If you have anything left, when they wash this thing clean, Brian, uh, there's not gonna be a lot of gold and silver that's affordable on the other end of that thing. No, I mean, that, exactly. Tr trying to get gold and silver for the, the, the least amount over spot is one thing, but when it's not available, it, you know, the margins that, that we're seeing today or even yesterday, the last last five years, those uh, th those margins are going to, unfortunately, supply and demand, like it or not, or, or manipulate it or not, at some point, those margins are just, 
based on that, the, the lack of supply are going to really make gold and silver that much more expensive to try to acquire at least exactly. a fraudulent reserve notes. Exactly. Uh, the number to call to get gold and silver from Patriot Trading Group is 800 951 0592. We're going to hit the break here. I'll, uh, I'm still looking for a, a gold or silver special. Um, uh, and, and, and I'll, uh, I'll, uh, there we go. There we go. It's coming in. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get back with you on this. We're going to play a little bit more of that video from, uh, Michael Invest. I'm going to get back from the break. Uh, once again, 800 951 0592. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is the Patriot Trading News Hour. I'm Jason, joined with Brian. Uh, Joe's on vacation, taking some time off. Uh, we'll be doing the rest of the week, uh, either either myself or myself and Brian. As much as Brian can, can help me out, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, the, the phone number to call is 800-951-0592. Uh, we're going to put a little bit more of Michael and Vests on, uh, uh, you know, a lot of information that would disturb the Disturb the comfortable and comfort the disturbed, right, Brian? Yeah, that's right. Uh, don't don't be like this picture I'm looking at of a, 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 a an array of solar panels after a hailstorm. Uh, diversify in gold and silver, a great way to uh, ensure that diversification, <laughs> at least on the heavy the heavy side of things. Absolutely. All right, uh, Jack. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's let's click uh, Mike Michael uh, invest back in. When the bubble bursts. Now it says here. The hashtag Flying Pigs 360 was likely a reference to the famous saying in investing, listen up everyone, bulls make money, bears make money, but the pigs get slaughtered. Burry repeatedly told investors that being too greedy and speculating wildly, shouldering too much risk and chasing unrealistic returns. And what are we seeing today everyone? We're seeing people wanting to chase the next hot stocks because we've had, you know, the Tesla stocks where it's done a thousand percent return. We've had the crazy returns in the altcoins in cryptocurrency, um, like you know, Dogecoin. So you know, when investors hear of maybe a seven to ten percent return, they're thinking seven to ten percent. Why would I even bother? I want to double my money next month, and I want to do it now. And you're not having people just investing their own money; they're investing on leverage. I'll put up a chart here, margin debt is at all time highs, and I'm seeing in the cryptocurrencies, people promoting uh, trading platforms where they can use 100x leverage. That means you put in a thousand, you can trade with a hundred thousand dollars. That's what's making the crypto markets go so crazy, but then when all these uh, margin loans get liquidated, that just makes a crash even worse. So Burry uh, deleted his Twitter profile in early April after sounding the alarm on Tesla stock, which is short, as well as GameStop, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Robinhood, SPACs, inflation, and the broader stock market, and he resumed tweeting Monday. And you know what I find funny? They shut down Michael Burry that's tried to send warnings about this bubble, and the set comes in, they shut him down, but what about Elon Musk? You got him pumping and dumping, you know, altcoins in crypto. Whether you think it's funny or not, he's clearly manipulating the Bitcoin market. He says, oh, you know, we're not going to accept uh, Bitcoin anymore. And then he puts out a tweet. Oh, okay, now we may uh, be accepting Bitcoin again. You can clearly see his market manipulation. But as long as you're pumping assets higher, the SEC doesn't really care. But if you expose the financial system, if you expose what the establishment is doing, you get shut down like that. And he's been right about inflation. He warned early this year before inflation got out of control that we're going to see higher inflation. Okay, there we go, Jack. Thanks. Um, Brian, I mean, uh, li listen to that little bit there. Uh, manipulation, uh, extreme amounts of money being leveraged in weird ways. Uh, people that just want to double their money and are impatient they have they have no idea of what it really takes to earn money over over time uh some, lot, lots of uh bells and whistles saying that something bad's getting ready to happen all i can think of jason is that line from uh, forrest gump where he says i'm not a smart man but i know what in this case i'm gonna say I'm, i know what gold is i know what real wealth is i mean i'm looking at an article here from a month ago from uh, uh what is it investment or an international business times that that reminds that may, a majority of cryptocurrencies may not even exist in the next five years and at this point a month ago almost 2100 coins have already failed 
I mean, I can't even. I'm, I'm not smart enough to, to be able to pronounce some of these uh, these these uh, uh, crypto uh, currencies or crypto assets. Is that what, what you what we've said before? They've been termed assets. They're not really currencies. Yeah, the uh, the IRS uh, in 2014 deemed Bitcoin a, an asset uh, by calling them coins and calling them currencies. It's like a desperate plea to get people to invest in stocks and people are investing in something that has no company behind it. It's just a big pile of money. And just like any Ponzi scheme, the bigger the pile is, the bigger the payoff can be. But like musical chairs, you know, usually they pull one chair out and the music gets going. When the music stops, one guy can't sit down. But why do I get the feeling that this musical chairs, there's only gonna be a couple of chairs and there's gonna be thousands of people without a chair to, to sit on, Brian, when this thing goes? Well, and we've said it also, we've said it before many times, how how peaceful the appearance appearances are of, of, of longtime satisfied Patriot customers, uh, knowing that they've at least got this aspect of their uh, their preparedness, that their house is in order. Yeah, that, 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 that is, that's what we do. And then that's why we have the shows. Uh, yeah, there's ways of, of uh, looking at stock markets and making wise decisions. There's, there's ways of investing money because yeah, there's an opportunity that comes. I mean, everybody has a life, and if you're if you're out in public at all, or you're just out on you know at least at least communicating with the world through phones and emails and texts and whatever you know, opportunities will pop up, and that's where that's where investment comes in. But it doesn't happen every day. Not even the, those richest guys that are making the most money, millions and millions and, and and billions of dollars, even they don't get an opportunity every single day. Now, if, if you're at the top of the uh, the financial hill, of course, you got more opportunities coming in front of you than, than the average guy. But Brian, what do you do until you find that opportunity to, to put a little money into it, try to try to make a little money and grow your assets? Bitcoin, you, you, you said they might crash. It sure, sure sounds like the dot-com bubble. Uh, when all these, these, a lot of these cryptocurrencies will, will go to zero and, and go away, it's, they're assets. You know, they're an asset if, if, if it's going to be there for you, it's an asset, but it's, 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 it's risk. Assets have risk. Stock has risk. You know, uh, gold and silver has virtually no risk. There's virtually nothing. There. Now, obviously, they, they made gold illegal in 1933. The government could always do crazy stuff like concoct uh, the coronavirus narrative upon the population, and, and suddenly everyone's wearing masks and being uh, told they need to go get vaccines. Obviously, crazy stuff can happen. But they already confiscated gold. The main reason was because it was old. You know, they, they they were getting all the old gold money that was circulating out of the system. So I don't even know if a gold confiscation, if it were to happen, I don't know how successful it'd be, Brian, because uh, not every country in the world is going to outlaw gold. So so gold's risk is almost nothing. It's almost zero in my mind because it's you know it's it's been an, uh, an a store of value for thousands of years. And, uh, you know, everything else, there's risk. And it's okay to take risk and try to make money. But sometimes, Brian, you got to sit there and wait for that opportunity. And where do you, where do you park that money? You got to park it in the bank or, or in cash? Where, where, what's going to happen while it's sitting there, Brian? That constant inflation that uh, doesn't exist, either doesn't exist or we're told is, is at a managed level of 2%, but never mind all of the manipulation. Uh, that goes into the cal calculating what that actual inflation number is. All right, coming up on the break, this is the Patriot Trading News Hour, everybody. Hang tight, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back, Patriot Trading News Hour. I'm Jason, I'm joined with Brian. Uh, we talked a little bit about the, uh, the everything bubble and the great reset. There may not be a ladder of safety to jump to if all the ladders are collapsing at the same time. You know, you keep climbing up, climb 12 years in a row of bull markets and every, you know it's, god it really sure sounds like from 1920 to 1929 that that run on the markets where uh, the, you had the great depression following it sure sure has an eerie uh, uh sound to it and uh, brian was talking uh during the last segment a little bit and we were talking on the break about cryptocurrencies uh and and um, brian's gonna read a couple things here and we'll talk about it uh but just think about the term uh, how how lost uh how lost we are economically when even if we call it a currency which it's not it's an asset currencies are not supposed to be something you put your money into to get a big return on a currency is supposed to be a medium of exchange and under a a a a, a correct and decent money system 
a currency never gets inflated or is worth more or less. It should, it should remain constant. The $20 gold piece that we sell and sell and sell and sell, uh, one of our bread and it is, it's kind of the bread and butter gold piece that we sell is the $20 gold piece. From the late 1700s to the early 1900s, it was always worth $20. It always buys you a cow. It was also equal to the currency, which was the paper money. It was currency. It was currency, but also we, we had paper currency that held equal value because the banks held gold as a reserve if you wanted to get out of your paper money. Currency is not supposed to go up and down in value. A $20 gold piece should still be $20, and it actually still is. That if you're holding your $20 gold piece, its currency value is still there. You can still buy a cow with it. Brian, the whole the whole cryptocurrency thing where you, you put your money in because you want to make 100% uh, profit on it, it's absurd. It's it's absurd. There's not even a company to invest in. It's it's uh, man. What's what's going to happen, Brian? And 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 you go ahead and jump in on that. Well, I think speculation is probably a, a safe word that fits in here at some point. Um, <laughs> is it speculation? This or article is it speculation uh, or madness? <laughs> <laughs> well, but but then how, how do the authorities regard? Uh, the, the the bitcoins, not not specifically Bitcoin, but the crypto, whatever it is, crypto well, assets. I, I think you're talking gov um, government or so, Brian. I think I think these are people that are uh, the so-called powers that be. Tell them what to say, and I think they accept it because they're told to accept it. Some, somebody wants people to, to lose their money there, Brian. Well, it, you know, it took a pretty hard hit. Most of them took a pretty hard hit a month ago uh, when financial an analysts were saying that the crypto market isn't regulated. Uh, internal trading along with other illegal activities, I'm just reading from this article, legal activities run rampant, which doesn't meet the eye of the day-to-day -day investor. So for me, that, that that tells me that's one of the possible ways that the uh, crypto uh, uh, market will be will hit, will be manipulated somehow. Uh, when it's thought to be the, the underlying technology is, is pretty impressive, but uh, you know, referring back to gold confiscation, uh, I, I can easily see how governments will will collude, or central banks will collude to uh, to, to put a squash on that when it's, uh, I guess, when they feel it's necessary, or they let it continue so they can uh, boom and bust it and take keep take, taking people's money. I guess. Yeah, I mean that too. I mean, you know, the great thing for uh, for for being at the at the the top of the uh, food chain when it comes to money is that uh, you can get in and get out at the right time and everybody else does not. So cryptocurrencies, I think they're here to stay, you know, crypto assets. And uh, what, what a great thing, Brian. You know, there's, there's a, the company doesn't have to report any, uh, any, any gains or any failures from their business model. You know, they think about like Apple or, or IBM or any of these other companies, uh, Walmart. They, they, they have to report to the stockholders of, of uh, business going up or getting better, profits, margins, and this and that. And, and uh, Bitcoin acting as an asset, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't have any of those problems. And uh, as long as the uh, media-controlled country that we're in and across the world keeps telling you to buy this stuff when it booms and busts, I, I think there's going to be a lot of people that will con just continue throwing their money in there and, and just hope that you know, they're, they're just, just like at uh, playing blackjack, you may win a couple hands, you may lose a couple hands, but in the end, the house wins. How much is that uh, high blood pressure worth of of having uh, <laughs> exactly a, a, purport, a purported asset value? How, what, what's the what's the blood pressure worth? I, I, I just keep saying, and, and based on your observations, low low not low blood normal blood pressure, not excited and very very satisfied Patriot customers. Uh, I think speaks volumes about about the, the the wise or the wisdom in holding gold and silver yeah what, what brian's talking about is uh, and i'm sure joe has witnessed this and uh the people coming in buying and selling gold and silver to us uh some of the most relaxed uh even tempered uh easy to easy to talk to people i've ever dealt with uh, when, when you have less cares and worries, now everybody, you know, anybody listens to this station, you know, 1360 com. if you're in Arizona or tune into 1360 on the AM dial. If you listen to the shows that are on this this station, there's there's a lot of people that are, are, are unhappy, uh, don't like what uh, the powers that be are doing. Uh, they're worried about the future and a lot of doom and gloom of what, what's going to happen. But 
when one when one major part of your life, I mean, and we'll go back right back to Forrest Gump. Uh, Lieutenant Dan was laughing at him becoming a shrimp boat captain, and then they went out there, and the, the, uh, those knuckleheads didn't know what they were doing. They were out in a storm when everybody else was putting their boats in the, at the harbor to, to get get ready for the storm, and the storm hit the harbor and destroyed all the ships. And the only ship that was left was uh, was Lieutenant Dan and Forrest Gump's boat, and they became rich. And uh, then uh, Lieutenant Dan took over Forrest Gump's financial affairs, you know, because Forrest Gump, he's kind of a simple-minded dude. And uh, he said, uh, well, well, Lieutenant Dan put some of my money into a fruit company. And then I didn't have to worry about money ever again. One last thing. Right, Brian? That's good. <laughs> we'll be right back. Final segment coming up. All right, final segment right here on a Wednesday, Patriot Trading News Hour. Guest host is Brian and Jason. I'm Jason. Brian's coming on here in a second. Uh, we're just uh, leaving leaving the segment. Uh, Brian reminded me of, you know, hey, uh, one last thing to worry about. You know, Forrest, you know Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, well, one last thing. We're gold and silver. We're going to give you gonna give you one less thing to worry about. Uh, when you have your savings uh, sitting there, there when you need it. Uh, one one last thing to worry about. Uh, go ahead and play that, Jack. He got me invested in some kind of fruit company. And so then I got a call from him saying, we don't have to worry about money no more. And I said, that's good. One less thing. <laughs> there you go, Brian. <laughs> Plainly stated. Uh, <laughs> very factual. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. What did we just talk about earlier in the show? You got to put some money aside, and, and when an opportunity hits, you take advantage. I'll tell you one thing: if anybody's watched that movie, Forrest Gump, ignorance is bliss. If, if I could be ignorant, make me make me ignorant like Forrest Gump, because the opportunities that hits him, he, he, he's, he's he's serving at Vietnam, and and this this uh, this guy he's serving with uh, Bubba, he's like, I got my, I got to do get in the shrimp and boat company. Huh? I, I got a serious thing. I want you to. I want you to go in with me for it's a 50 50 split you know you and me we're gonna make a lot we're gonna eat a lot of shrimp you know and <laughs> okay <laughs> okay <laughs> and he, he made it for, for force that was a promise and, and look look at he just he just said yes and did it brian and, and those are opportunities but as far as savings is concerned and, and it's, uh, solidifying your uh, financial house gold and silver is a great way to go right brian yeah it sure is whether it's you want to look at it as adding some adding some weight some solid uh, solidness to your portfolio uh you know as joe and his his uh son were on yesterday talking about diversification uh my idea of diversifying is gold and silver it's kind of like uh blues brothers right where they stop at the bar we play both kinds of music country and western well <laughs> we sell both kind we, we provide both kind of uh of, of wealth insurance gold and silver uh so don't don't, don't forget hit allamericangold.com uh you can check out check them that we have there uh, the arizona ladies happy to take your call and answer those questions 800-951-0592 and the metals plan i know that we've got a lot of participants in the metals plan what a what a great way to uh not even have to uh you know manage that on a on a daily or weekly monthly basis we take care of that for you why do i why do i feel like i'm getting inspired to cut a new uh, patriot commercial with uh, bubba and and uh, forest <laughs> Uh, talk about all the ways you could use gold, right? Uh, you know, uh, all, all the Shrimp, ways. Shrimp Creole. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah, we got we got $20 gold we pieces. We, we got $10 gold pieces. We, we, got, we got silver eagles, you know. <laughs> okay. Silver rounds, <laughs> silver bars. Uh, gold, gold is as gold does. <laughs> All right, Brian, thank you for hanging out with me on the show today. Hey, we'll be back tomorrow. Catch our show. Go to 1360KHNC.com, 3 o'clock Colorado time. I think that's 2 o'clock in Arizona. 1360KHNC.com. We'll, we'll have another show for you here a little later in the, in the afternoon. We'll be back tomorrow, Patriot Trading News Hour. See ya. <laughs>